What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, back with episode 178 of Room Tour Project, the series where we show off some of the best gaming setups to give you some ideas and inspirations for your own setup. If you see anything you like, I will have it all listed for you in the description down below so you can check it out, as well as the instructions on how to enter Razor Rescue if you want a chance to win a brand new Razor themed setup. But let's start it off, episode 178. First up, we have Jack, and just look at that wooden desk. Going with the dual monitor setup with that massive overhead with the TV with a mix of some orange RGB lighting. So checking it out for his monitors, his primary is a 32 inch ultra gear monitor. It's LG's gaming lineup. It's their 1440p 144 hertz panel. And the one off to the left side is a 21 and a half inch AOC monitor. As you saw before, that overhead TV is a Vizio 55 inch 4K panel. Now, checking out the peripherals with the keyboard, it's the Corsair Gaming K95 Platinum RGB. We have the Corsair Iron Claw RGB mouse on an ASIO mouse pad, and the speakers in the back you can kind of see are the Logitech Z130. And all the RGB in the peripherals going to that orange theme, even the PC, and we'll check that out. The case is a Corsair Carbide Tempered Glass Chassis, the 275R. We have a Ryzen 5 2600 CPU with the Corsair H115i Platinum AIO. 16 gigs of Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro RAM on an MSI X470 Gaming Pro Carbon Motherboard and an MSI Duke RTX 2070 graphics card. But altogether, aesthetically, on the inside, looking really nice and I feel like orange always pops as well for a color. You don't see it too often. So a really good bedroom gaming setup, three displays in total, an absolutely lovely looking wooden desk with the shelf. I think that's called zebra wood maybe. Got some little trinkets around the desk and some stuff off to the side of the setup to really tie the whole bedroom theme together. Next up is extremely unique. This is a dedicated game room that puts quite a unique twist on it. Forget the traditional, you know, desk with the monitors. How about having a 60 inch 4K TV and uh, a gaming chair? You can just lounge back, have your mouse, keyboard, gamepad, all right there. With the mirrors and all the artwork, this is like a museum in a sense. And you know with a setup like this on a 4K 60 inch Vizio TV, figured it'd be nice to switch it up a bit. So on that TV, yes, all the consoles, Xbox One X, PS4, Pro, uh, obviously a PC and stuff. You can see in the back his controllers, but for his primary peripherals that he uses on this setup, you got the Logitech G810 keyboard with the Logitech G13 gamepad and Logitech G703 mouse. And this whole kind of tray he has is called the Couch Master. Got it there right in front of him with his RGB mouse pad. And this is all hooked up to his gaming chair, which is the Respawn RSP900. So it can literally kick back, play any console, any PC game, and be super comfy. In the back for his additional uh, peripheral you can see his headset, Logitech G933 Artemis Spectrum Snow Edition. But yes, let's check out that PC powering this. This is the Thermaltake Level 20 GT case. Inside is an Intel i7-8700K CPU with the NZXE Kraken X62 AIO. 32 gigs of G-Skill Triton Z RGB RAM on the MSI Z370 Godlike Gaming Motherboard with the Gigabyte Aorus RTX 2080 Ti. Everything inside also going to the purple RGB color to match the rest of this gaming room. So like I said in the beginning, definitely, you know, not your ordinary gaming setup, but that's why I really like it. It is super clean, super modern, all like the modern furniture and the artwork around really makes this uh, something special. I'm sure I'll see haters in the comment section about him gaming on a TV, but imagine chilling in that chair, gaming, and having that there. Uh, it would definitely be awesome. I know I'm a fan. Next up, we've got Don. And uh, this one could definitely fit in with that kind of you know, minimal clean setup edition. Spoiler, that's next week. Give this video a big thumbs up if you're pumped for that. But going super simple with the single monitor setup, a nice clean and organized desktop with everything you know, kind of being kept together in that management rack he has off to the left side. Checking out the gear, his monitor is an Asus 24 inch 144 hertz panel. You can see not wall mounted, but he does have it on a monitor arm, which is still attached to his desk, which is gonna be freeing up some room under the monitor itself. 
For its peripherals, it's got a really nice custom keyboard. It's XD75 PCB in a 5 degree case. And for his switches, they are lubed 78 gram Xilinx V2. Even got some custom keycaps he could switch up, but this is a nice board. And then his mouse is the Logitech G Pro Wireless. Then for audio, the Sennheiser HD 800 headphones. This guy knows what's up. Then over to his PC, a really nice compact build inside the Leon Lee PC Q38, all water cooled and stuff. Inside is an Intel i7 8700K CPU, got 16 gigs of G Skill RAM on an ASRock Z370 ITX Fatality motherboard with a GTX 1080 Ti graphics card. Again, all custom cooled with stuff from like, you know, EK, Hardware Labs, got like a milky white coolant and some orange LEDs inside. So good stuff all around here, really digging the simplicity to this in that custom PC and the uh, keyboard really sets it off. Loving the matching with the walnut desktop and the wrist rest, things like the Edison bulb in the back with some plants, all makes this a really nice setup in my book. Next up is what he calls the Star Room Gaming Setup, and this is crazy awesome. All DIY, by the way. So he used one of those Chinli, like, DJ light projectors. You got 900 pieces of the optic fibers, drilled holes into this plate, uh, put them in there, glued it on. You've seen those optic fiber things in the past, probably when you were a kid. But these modded with the light to essentially twinkle like it is looking up at the stars. This is a killer backdrop for his setup. You even got the galaxy wallpaper to tie it all together and make it seem more authentic, you know? So all three of his monitors are mounted nicely to the wall. They are 27 inch Asus 1440p monitors. Has the nice floating look with the RGB light strip behind the desk and even underneath it to give it that crazy kind of cool rainbow glow. In Forest Peripherals, we have the Ducky 1-2 Mini RGB keyboard with Logitech G Pro Wireless on the Razer Goliathus Chroma Extended mouse pad. His speakers on each side are the Logitech G560 Light Sync, and his headset, not pictured here, is the Astro A40TR. Checking out the PC inside is a Ryzen 7 1700 CPU with the Corsair H100i V2 AIO. Got 16 gigs of G-Skill Trident Z RGB RAM on an MSI X370 Gaming Pro Carbon motherboard, and an Asus Strix GTX 1080 Ti graphics card, all inside the Corsair Obsidian 500D RGB SE case. Of course, you know the RGB is going to be included. Some other things worth noting is, yes, I'm extremely jealous. This is an actual, official Red Bull mini fridge. I need to get me one of those. Red Bull, what's up? If you're watching, probably not. Send me a mini fridge. And he also has off to the side a separate little workspace for his laptop, the mounted TV. Man, so great stuff. I love when a DIY setup comes together, especially something so unique like this where you have that star room effect going on with the, the lights twinkling, kind of like you're chilling back, looking up at the stars, lost in the galaxy while you're gaming right at your desk. And then lastly, wrapping up this episode is Danny with the single ultra wide monitor, loving the Star Wars prints above the setup, but checking it out, that single monitor is the Dell UltraSharp U3415W. It is a curved display. Lots of RGB going on from the PC, the peripherals, the light strip behind the desk, even down to the, the wallpaper. Like that landscape has a lot of color going on as well. But checking out the peripherals with the Ducky 1-2 RGB TKL keyboard with those double shot PBT pudding keycaps to really accentuate the RGB lighting. These caps are what's up. With a glorious PC gaming race wrist rest, Logitech G502 Proteus Spectrum mouse on a black extended mouse pad with the Elgato Stream Deck Mini in the back. For audio, we have the Audio Technica ATH M40X headphones with the Audio Engine A5 Plus speakers. Over to the PC inside the Corsair Crystal 280X case, a nice compact build again. Inside the Intel i7 8700K CPU with the Corsair H100i RGB Platinum AIO, 32 gigs of Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro RAM on an MSI Z390M Gaming Edge MATX motherboard, and for the graphics card, the NVIDIA Titan V with 12 gigs of VRAM. Man, lots of RGB even with the fans, some nice white braided cables to match the case. Really liking this build. 
and we'll bring it back around to those Star Wars kind of blueprints he has mounted above his setup. Really cool. I'm liking these a lot. I'm sure Star Wars fans out there will like them as well. It just ties in nicely with a lot of the, you know, white and black gear from the PC to the speakers and stuff. Kind of go into like a Stormtrooper theme, but not really. Either way, it still all fits and looks really good. This episode of Room Tour Project sponsored by Corsair and the new Corsair Ironclaw Wireless RGB Mouse. For FPS and MOBA gamers, this has an 18,000 DPI optical sensor while integrating Slipstream, which is one of the quickest, most reliable, and efficient wireless technology on the market. So it's time to ditch those cables and find out if the Ironclaw Wireless RGB is right for you. If you want to check it out, I'll put a link for you in the description down below. All right, guys, that'll wrap it up for episode 178 of Room Tour Project. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget, check the links down below for all the gear and hardware you saw, as well as some very simple instructions on how to submit your setup. If you want to be possibly considered on a future episode of Room Tour Project, just check the description down below for it all. If you like this episode, give it a big thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, at RandomFrankP. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I hope you enjoyed episode 178. Have a good day.